This morning, Baker Mayfield asked for his release from the Carolina Panthers, and that is what they are going to do. Baker Mayfield is set to hit waivers, and I don't think this is a coincidence at all that this happened the day after Jimmy Garoppolo suffered a season-ending foot injury in the 49ers win versus the Dolphins. Brock Purdy is now the 49ers starting quarterback. He's Mr. Irrelevant from this past draft, meaning he was the literal last player selected in the draft. He started out the season as their third string quarterback. And now it's like, oh my gosh, what are the 49ers going to do? Josh Johnson is the only other quarterback signed to the 49ers right now. And last night I was thinking, ouch, this really sucks for the 49ers. Their top quarterback, their top two quarterbacks get injured. And now their starting quarterback that they are starting right now, Jimmy Garoppolo, gets injured after the trade deadline. What are they going to do? They're stuck. Well, all of a sudden, Baker Mayfield asked for his release, and I think he is going to the 49ers. I think that's what this is going to be. The only two teams I could see claiming Baker before the 49ers on waivers are the Colts, because we know they just love to pick up veteran quarterbacks who are struggling, try to make them their franchise quarterback. Doesn't work out like ever. Or the Saints, because their offense has been really bad. But I think Jameis is honestly a better option than Baker right now, and they're not even starting him. But I think everyone knows Baker is trying to get his way to the 49ers. And I think this is huge for both sides. I think this can work for both sides. One, Baker is broken right now. I'm not going to sit here and say Baker is a good quarterback and this and that. He is broken right now. He is bad. Ever since he played through that shoulder injury, he has not been himself. He has been a shell of his former self. But remember... This guy used to be good. In 2020, he led the Browns to the second round of the playoffs. He had the 10th best QBR in the league that year. And that Browns defense was not very good that year. They were in the bottom half of the league stats-wise. They weren't one of the top defenses in the league. But we know what's happened since then. He played through that shoulder injury. It kind of messed up his career, playing terrible in Carolina. He's just broken right now. He's a quarterback that is broken and can't play. He's an interception machine. He's just playing terrible right now. But then you have Coach Shanahan of the 49ers, and that's the guy you want to play for. If you're a quarterback, that's broken. We've seen what he's done with quarterbacks. We've seen how Jimmy was even coming into his own recently before he got injured. He was a little rusty to start the year once Trey Lance got hurt and he came in, right? But the 49ers were on a four-game win streak under Jimmy Garoppolo, and he was really starting to play well. If you're Baker, you're like, I want to go to the 49ers. I want to play for Shanahan because this is going to help me become who I was or at least get somewhat close to that and the offense they run in San Francisco is really similar to the offense Baker played in in Cleveland during 2020 when he was just one of the best QBs in the league honestly and yeah I'm not saying okay go out sign Baker make him the starter day one Brock Purdy they were able to get the win with him versus the Finns but I think once teams start to watch film on Brock Purdy they're going to be able to figure him out And I think it's huge to have a quarterback who's had playoff experience on this roster. Simply right now, the 49ers just need bodies in the quarterback room because they don't really have any quarterbacks. So they just need people to come in there and be their backup for right now, just so they have backup options. And then maybe week three, after you sign Baker, he could possibly be the starter, depending on how Brock Purdy is playing. And am I saying, oh, once Baker gets in Shanahan's system, it's going to be all rainbows and roses and perfect and this and that. No, it's not going to be like that. It's going to take time. But this defense is so good for the 49ers. You just need someone who can hand the ball off and make short throws on third down to move the sticks. Can Baker do that? I honestly don't know right now because he's been so bad, but I think once he gets under Shanahan's system, he's going to coach him up to make the plays he has to not overthrow the ball, throw bad interceptions. I really think this could be huge for Baker Mayfield, almost like a rebirth of his career, not to overstate anything because he's just, he's just in a terrible, terrible spot right now. And the possibility to at least get in the 49ers building and learn from Shanahan could be huge huge for him. So I think it's a no-brainer for the 49ers to sign Baker Mayfield. And I think he could possibly be their starter at the end of the season and get them a playoff win. I think they can win a playoff game with Baker Mayfield. I'm going to say it because that defense is so good. One of the best in the league. I think they can win a Baker, a playoff game with Baker Mayfield under center. I think they can. Appreciate you guys watching until the end. Let me know what you think about this Baker Mayfield situation. Peace.